Guys, it's been an absolutely wild 2023. It's been our first year on YouTube. We really appreciate every single one of you tuning into our videos. We have a ton more in store for 2024, but today we got a little recap. All the best moments of this year. We hope you enjoy. Nico, you're first up. Blue Raspberry SB. What are your thoughts? I think they're f***ing class. If you don't know who that is, it's Nico Leonard. He's an absolute f***ing legend. He's actually the watch expert. He doesn't know anything about shoes, so we're trying to teach him a little bit. But if you want to see anything about watches, we'll link him below. You can check out his videos. Genuinely, I think they're f***ing class, right? I'm going to go in my hip area. Hip period? Do you call that period? Oh, hip. Cool. Oh, you want to be cool I want to be cool hip. again, right? Okay. So I want to wear cool shoes. I am a colorblind, and I do think this is a bit blue. This so, is correct. And I really like this. Yes. I, re I really like that blue variant. You said these shoes were shade. Yes. By the way, what I don't understand, and maybe someone can answer me that question. Why the f is there two different laces? And why is this hanging like this? And I need to lace this. I don't understand it. Nike just does that like sometimes. So this how do you, how are you supposed to wear sneakers? Like this. Just laces like that. What do you, I mean, there's there's different ways. Depends on the shoe. You you like to like keep them like, oh no, you, those are tied. Sometimes people like to leave like a, a lace out like that. This is an eight and a half. Four, guys, four fucking days he wore these shoes and they four look days. like he went to war in them. Yeah, but I walk a lot. All I right. want my yellow sneakers. Hmm? I want to wear my yellow Jordans. Dude, they're off-white Air Forces. Oh, the Air Forces. If you're going to be hip, you got to know at least to know a little bit yeah, about yeah. what you're wearing. No, I have the, I, I've, uh, yes, but I bought nine pairs of shoes there yeah, last uh, yeah. week. And you need more. And I need way more. We are a wholesale company and we do move sneakers and clothing in bulk. So if you come around this way, we got a nice little basketball hoop. We got a loft upstairs. You get a beautiful view of the entire warehouse. Before we opened the store, this thing was packed. We had over 3,000 pairs of sneakers in here. We were shipping stuff out on a daily basis. We still ship stuff out every single day. You know, orders to StockX, orders to Go, orders to bulk customers, other stores. A lot of stuff still goes on here on the day to day basis. Even though we're not here, we have employees that help us take care of it. Shout out to Mike. A lot of the times when we get big bulk shipments, we're not really able to receive them in Florida because of our small store. But here, we're able to distribute them. We're able to maybe send our store maybe 10, 15 pairs and then keep the rest in bulk for our clients. Yeah, I'll do the 11 for 225. Yeah. We got a few ones, some shadow toes, size 10 and a half, some royal toes, size 10. We got some why so sad dunks. These are actually super clean. They're a brand new release, so hopefully I can get some more of these. I think these will definitely go up in value. Picked them up at around 220. Some cool grays. These are always going to sell. Size 10, we picked them up right under 300. Some slides for the store. Picked them up for 195. This has been our best selling slide by far, I would say. The pier. These are really good sellers too. Mono ice. Any easy you can really pick up under 300, in my opinion, is a good buy. So 420 plus 225, so that's 645. Cool. Here you go. Should be 645. You said 260 for the nine? Yeah. They're brand new, right? Yeah. Cool. 260. Cool. Let's try to get this back safely. Yay! I bought some shoes. Oh, buddy. What do you do? How many shoes do you buy today? Dude, I just bought one. I was waiting for you. Dude, I got Wi Fi. I know, I saw. So far, our event just opened. We already spent $3,050. Now, at that one table alone, I spent $2,175. That guy had some good prices. All right, let's go buy some fucking shoes. Would you do $190 for these? No. The preschool toddler, how much are they? Dimension. Oh, okay, no worries. I'll swing back around. These are fire. Clean. I feel like they would move. A lot of detail. They're expensive, I'm pretty sure. I actually could not tell you what they go for. How much you want for these? Three. Three? You 270? Three. I can do like 280 best on these. All right, thank you. How much? How are you going? 11 and a half, 160. 160. I'm picking up at like 140. Can you do 140? 150. I think 140 is our best. I just picked some up at 135, some at 140. That would be my absolute best. I can come back. It's not a big deal. I, I think you'll be cool with 140. Oh, you want to do it? All right, cool. That's one thing about Mark is he's sharp and he has zero patience and it always works at these events. I don't like people that move slow. Not my thing. Too slow. These are good? I can grab these? Yeah. You just, you just gotta give me an answer, like yes or no. If not, I'll come back. It's not a big deal. Yeah, thank you. I don't blame him because it's his voice pair, so he doesn't know. I don't know. There's so many tables here, like you have to keep it moving because like we're already 30 minutes in. Like we only have six hours here, so we gotta move fast. I would say we're mostly looking for 350 V2s, Yeezys, obviously. We don't have any of these. We need these for the store. We have grade school, but we need men's. We need big size slides, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I don't see anything else that we can pick up for a good price. Like a lot of people are willing to do negotiate a lot here, so you know. You can get some good prices. Dude. Dude, you like this? This is, this is how we get people to buy. Yo, Midnight Navy, how much? See, you get them from so far. 340? No, thank you. Do you have a price? 350? Yeah, it'd probably be closer to like 300 on those. Let me check 310? 315. All right, 320, you got it. Drive's a hard bargain. Are you selling those, sir? Come right this way, please. Anything brand new? I, I probably already would pass on those. I'm not, I'm not gonna make you take them out the box. It's a 96. Right? Yeah, I'd probably pass. I appreciate it. I like the shirt though. Sir, how much for those UNCs? 450. Firm. Cash. Money. You know what? Yeah. Uh, he doesn't give a f. Let's do it, guys. Appreciate you. 
the this is the guy with the money. I'm <laughs> correct with the eBay tag. Right. Love that. Love that. Is it 300? Uh, yeah, I'll take 500. Thank you. Thanks, I appreciate, appreciate you. It. Sir, I need those Argon Dunks. What do we got? How much? I'll do you like 120. 110 right now. Done. Do Easy. Appreciate I you, bro. Appreciate you guys, see, so this is some serious stuff you got. Let's check it out. Is it, is it brand new? Brand new. Oh, shit. this is what I want to see. Oh, Wait, those are brand new also? Brand new. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think I know a guy who might buy these. A lot of people bring super expensive stuff to the table all the time, like over $5,000, for example. I like to take someone's number down that has expensive stuff like that because I can just flip it to someone that I know that kind of specializes in those higher end pairs. Do you have a price in mind? I have a price. Talk to me. 20. 20. This one is 4,500 for this one. It's not a bad price. Yeah, I think I'd be lower. Around like 35. Oh, I paid more. You paid more? Yeah. Tough shoe to sell. Cool shoe, but that's crazy. Air Mags, Off-White Chicago's, and the Supreme SBs. That's like almost 30 grand just right there with three shoes. First thing in the morning, I walk in and I open up the store. I look in the back and there's a crazy giant leak. Miami has a super crazy bipolar weather. We can never tell what's gonna happen. Yeezy does not spend a lot of money on their boxing. It's cardboard and at the end of the day, in a hour or two, they'll look just like this one. If it was like the bare brick box, then I'd probably be crying right now. Let's try and save some product, baby. Honestly, the bucket's holding up pretty well. Save a lot of this stuff right here. This one's perfectly dry. This was literally five minutes. I just put this up there for five minutes. Oh my. Okay, this one suffered the most. <laughs> this box got super, super, I mean, the kicks are perfect. Thank God, that's all I care about, but the box is super Gilly, what happened? The roof just started leaking. How bad? You know when we had that Dogtown leak? This is Holy way worse, bro. There was like pools of water on top of the Yeezy boxes. If you know anything about Miami, you can never predict the weather. It could be sunny one minute, and then the next is torrential downpour. You gotta deal with these issues a lot being here, especially in this building, because it was built in the 1950s. We don't have a proper drainage or a gutter system, I'm thinking, so it's well, not the, draining. This whole building is like, what, That's what I'm thinking, it's up. not like exiting the roof the way it's supposed yeah. to, and it's exiting through our AC vent. I guess it's been pooling up, and we didn't notice until like right now. So how many shoes do you think are damaged? I mean, all these that I've been pulling out, they just need to dry, like I don't think the kicks are damaged themselves. There's one box that's really just like super of the new balances. But yeah, everything I pulled out is kind of like to dry. This is the box that's super got super off. So I yeah. guess we just gotta open each one, make sure the shoes aren't actually messed up, and then just let the boxes out to dry. Holy. I told you. That's why I was like, bro, we're not gonna be able to sell that. <laughs> it looks like totally different. This is a display shoe that we had on the device getting baked in the sun since August. So this particular shoe was at the very front of the store for months exposed to direct sunlight. Not much you can do except take the loss and write it off as defective inventory. This is the left pair. I'm so confused. Alright, put another one on the spot. <laughs> it sucks because you have kind of have no choice. Like, it's a fire shoe. I had told you and Marcus that they were this issue weeks on end. And look what happened. The shoe got cooked. Hopefully the color is not completely lost. And it's just... There's probably crepe protect on it. Yeah, nah, but the color is gone. Like, <laughs> it's no layer to it. Like, it's gone. Like... <laughs> I have a question for you. Look at this. Boy, what the f is that? <laughs> this was a display one. Sun damage. Can, is that fixable? Holy f that is a big difference. Dilly, can we fix it or not? I don't know how to fix that, bro. I'll look into it. I really have no clue how you could fix that. I brought a lot of shoes back from the dead before, but this one, this shit was cooked. I'm Googling it now. Damn. All right, it says we can fix it by one parts of bleach, four parts of water. It says, I don't know, Google says that. Or you find someone who know how to do it, bro. All right, we are back with yet another unboxing today in the store. Today we got a special guest here, Jack Dotary. Say what's up. Oh, me? What's good? What's good? <laughs> Hello, everybody. All right, so we got a ton of packages here. I think we got some diverse I was in Philly. I packed these myself, so I know what's in here, but let's check it out. So these, in store, we get them for $350. These are actually early. So this is for the Miami Gallery Department store, which isn't even open yet. Dude, this color is fire. Yeah, I'm going to buy this stuff, you guys. Yeah, that's a fire one. It's brand new, never seen before. Even got some smaller sizes. The highlighter yellow. I don't know. I like the I like the pink one. Pink one goes crazy. Next box. Yeet. Looks like a single box. Oh, yeah, here. Oh, this is for a spe very special client. I already know what this is. You just got those, the pine green SB4s. First look, what do you think? Yeah. A lot of mixed emotions on these. A lot of I people like I them. I just don't like too many colors. You have to like match them. And, like, I just like wearing stuff that goes with everything, you know? I feel you. All right, I'm, respect. A, I'm a simple guy. Personally, I fucking love these, I'm not gonna lie. These are the SB4s, got the gum bottoms on them. Beautiful materials all around. Got the plastic on the back, got the plastic on this right here. Haven't done that before, this is the first one. And there's more coming. I heard rumors that a Black Cat SB4 is coming. Black Cats are going for $1,200 if you don't know. So the SBs might even go for more. These around five, six hundred bucks, which is actually pretty crazy for a Jordan 4. Very gentle. 
All right, we got some, looks like we got some New Balances. Who would buy these, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh, who would buy these? You're crazy. You definitely would buy these. Oh, whatever drugs, whoever's buying these are on. <laughs> so these are in the New Bubblegum 550s. The women love these. The guys don't really like them too much. The women, these sell very well. Yo, would you wear these? The fact that you even glanced and like looked at it that hard is crazy. New Balance 550s. Yeah, yeah. yeah see, exactly. The ladies yeah. love them. Get her out of get here. here. Get them here, get them here in High Miami. What else we got over here? So if you want to look like you work at McDonald's, this is the I Cactus do like Jack. that. I actually McDonald's don't like that. Yeah. Nico asked us for five of these. One in size XL, he lost some weight, got him a large. We got five of them for him, waiting for him. And this is a brand new release right here. The Woman's Wash Pink Ones. These are a sleeper. This has got that turbo green material, that suede. I think these are gonna be a banger for the ladies. I think over time, the value of these will go up. Those are the Seafoam 4s. They made them in only, only women, so biggest size of 10 and a half men. So for the big boys out there, the big sizes, you're shit out of luck. These, I know these ones, these are the Zebra ones. There we go. Oh, he's, he's hey, hey, show. round of applause for me. All right, what do you got next? You like Air Maxes? No. Dude, f I don't it. like Nike shoes. Or like the Louis Vuitton or Dior shoes. Louis Vuitton, yeah. it's more of a designer kind of guy. Yeah. He's definitely gonna hate these. A pair of Thunder Force, brand new release. People go crazy for them, they're like 500 bucks. So, some, someone's gonna buy them. We got one more box. Ooh, more shirts. More shirts, he loves the shirts. I don't like Supreme shirts though. It's the brand new release, the League tee with the basketball on it. Got the Arabic logo tee, also new. Oh yeah, there you go, that's the style. Yeah, these are nice. These are nice. The simple one right there. Yeah. This is the hottest brand right now. I'm not even joking. People go f***ing stupid nah, over this. I don't this. think I would wear that. He's not a Hellstar demon. I'm not. It's okay. It's not. I'm not. What else we got in here? Hellstar. You already know what that is. Essentials. A little restock. Just one hoodie. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Jack came through. Did an unboxing with us. Really hard guy to please, but I guess everyone has their taste. Jack, I think I'll change your mind next time. Name this shoe for a dollar. Jordan's. What kind? One, two, three, or four. <laughs> Got it. Ah, uh, he got it, he got it. Excuse me, can you guys name this shoe for a dollar? One dollar if you can tell me the name of this shoe. Yeah, what shoes are you on? Jordan, which, which model? One, two, or three, or four? Oh, I don't know, they're four. Four? You got it. That's it for you. For a dollar. For a dollar. Yeah, name the shoe for one dollar? I forgot the name of the Come on, you know the name of these, bro. The classics. First Jordan. First Jordan. There you go. There you go. Be easy, bro. Could you name this shoe for one dollar? Hello. Do you think you can guess the name of the shoe for one dollar? I know that's a Nike, but uh, UM uh, color. Look at the tongue. Yeah. You know what drink that is? Yeah. It's a soda. They did a collaboration with Nike. Yeah. You know that color. Come on. Haritos. Yeah. yeah. Ah, let's go. This is a beautiful shoe right here. Brand new SB Dunk Haritos. These are very anticipated. This actually comes off if you scratch it off. It's a beautiful colorway. Obviously, the classic Haritos. You got that on the inside. They did actually a little collection of sodas that had Nike SB on it, which is sick. And these actually were very limited when they released. Nike ended up canceling a lot of people's orders, and they were not happy on. On Twitter. These are going for anywhere from like six to seven hundred dollars right now. Excuse me. Do you can name this shoe for one dollar? It's, it's a Nike. Yeah. Keep going. Can you name this shoe what for a dollar? Yeah, no. Sure. I feel like he could, but can you name this shoe for a dollar? I'm about to lick it. You're gonna lick it? Yeah, yeah. Really? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I like that. All right, bet. Believe it or not, you're not the first. <laughs> one. You're not the first one to look at you on camera. Clearly in a deal. Timberlands, Puma. In the middle of the street. Five. Four. You got off lights on, bro. Come on. What do you mean? Yo, did you name these shoes for a dollar? You got the J you got the J's on. Both of you, you can't name it. No way. No, I can't. Come on. Off light dunk. There you go. Super exciting morning here in Coconut Grove. I actually imported a mini cab truck from Japan. Four grand all in around manual. I gotta learn how to drive manual. The wheels on the right side. A ton of different things we gotta figure out, but it was a cheap car that I wanted to import and we're gonna wrap it. We're gonna customize it, put hype all over it. It's gonna be like the mini hype truck. This is gonna turn more heads than Lamborghinis in Miami, I'm telling you. In high school, I was always looking online at super outlandish and weird vehicles that I wanted to buy for some reason. I actually wanted to buy a FedEx truck. I never made it happen, but I ended up buying this Japanese truck and I'm super excited to see what we do with it. Yuri, he called me an idiot from the beginning and guess what as soon as he was getting closer and closer he's like oh this is gonna be cool like he's down to wrap it now with hype and no i still don't agree with it dude this thing looks like a box <laughs> we got a lot of work to do this thing's all banged up and <laughs> dude, these, these tires look like they're from a golf cart i really hope this thing works it sounds like it's getting beat up it smells like in here this thing's got a lot of work to do so the wheels on the right side here dude i learned how to drive manual this morning and this is on a fucking shit like, I, is this thing? No, it doesn't start. Dude, I got no clue how to do this. Oh my God, my knees barely fit. No, this isn't bad though. Take a girl on a date. Like, you driving? Yeah, I'm driving. Oh, look at that. Look at the odometer. 119,000, but that's kilometers. So it's about like 70,000 miles. Dude, everything's in fucking Japanese. This is sick. Beautiful. I actually imported the car to the Jacksonville port, so I needed a trucker to drive it down to Miami. I found this guy, Carl, who was super helpful throughout the whole process, a super hardworking guy, so I wanted to hook him up with a pair of Air Forces. This is for you, brand new pair of Air Forces. Oh, wow. You've been, you've been great, so I appreciate you. Listen, I had one just like this, and my son took it. Really? Yeah, man. Well, there you go. 
Thanks, bro. No oh problem. Oh my God, thanks, man. No problem, bro. Shout out to my friend David. He came through and helped out major to get this truck up and running. The battery's pretty loose on this. I'm pretty sure that's the battery, no? Right there? Sorry. You need a you need to park here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can't we can't move it. Pay attention to that white car right there because something's about to go down and I had no idea it was gonna affect my day like that. Thank God I like called you. Like I would have no idea how to do this to be honest. I'm gonna start it. Let it run for like 30 seconds, charge up. You start that, it should crank, and then rev it a couple Okay. It was a beautiful Saturday in Coconut Grove, and my goal was to get that thing started by the end of the day. Try again. Oh, AC's on. Okay, that's good. Okay. If the AC's on and the battery's working, does it have gas? Uh, it's no. 100% empty. I guess you can't start without gas. It's gotta be enough to get it going, though. No? It's only a two gallons. People are loving the fing car. Yeah, I wonder how many gal miles per gallon this thing gets. We're gonna fing some commas up in this car right here. How's the fuel now? That was the problem before. Yeah, the fuel's actually showing up, which is yeah. good. You want me to take it out for you? I yeah, I got you. It's okay, I got you, don't worry. No, just back here. Just all the way back? I was so distracted by my new truck that I didn't even realize I left my phone in this lady's car that I helped back out. I think I left my phone in that lady's car. No way. I might have. Wanna call her real quick? Call her. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure she'll pick up my phone, I hope. Nobody picked up. You wanna keep trying? Yeah. Yeah! Oh, yeah! I got it! Let's go! go! Rev it, rev it, rev it! Rev it, rev it. Oh! Let's go! Oh! Let's go! She sounds great! Let's go! Stalled, stalled. But she started, and that's that. It was fun while it lasted. How's it going? We need a new battery. You guys carry these? We need a similar one to this. Yeah, the problem is we got it from Japan, so I don't know if... Uh... What you could do is just change the actual cables to something that's gonna work for this. Oh, we're yeah. buying the battery? Yeah. That's it. All right. All right, here's a receipt. Cool. We really appreciate your help. We'll let you know how it goes. All right, good luck. What's the battery dead? I don't know, but it wasn't starting. What if the motor's... No, it started. We started it already. I still honestly can't believe this kid actually bought this thing. I can't see you driving this for some reason, like <laughs> man manually. I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah. Oh, let's go! You're good. Way good. <laughs> let's go, baby. We got it running. Hopefully, we can actually drive it on the street now. <laughs> okay, a little stall action. This is super special right here. As you can see, 326.14 Air Max Day. These are the first Air Maxes released on Air Max Day. Air Max Day is obviously a huge day for all sneaker heads. This is basically the first edition. This particular pair is actually signed by Tinker Hatfield. If you don't know who Tinker Hatfield is, he's an absolute legend when it comes to the sneaker industry. He actually started out with Nike in its early days. He designed the Jordan 3 all the way up to the 15. This range of Jordans is actually the most iconic, as many of you might know. He also designed the Air Max 1, which I'm actually holding right there, which is also one of the most iconic Nike shoes of all time. I made these shoes. I would have made those shoes. Like for real. Okay. Big red boots. They're not the red boots. But. What? Mischief. See, do you want shoes like that? Mischief. Mischief. Yeah, MSF Astro Boys. Astro Boys, huh? Mischief. Oh, do you want it like specifically what the MS? Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> no. no. Mischief shoes. Mischief boots. Big red boots. Thank you. You got a five Can I take the five dollars? <laughs> Yes, see big red boots. <laughs> That's Go away. Talk. Sure. Are you not down? Huh? Biscuit, big red boots. Oh, I said big red boots the first time. Do I have to add the biscuit? Oh man, you see, you dumbass. Ah, 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 Big red boots. Mischief. Isn't that the mischief boots? That's not the big red boots from Mischief. Wait, what were they? I know. Mischief. Mischief.
Go away. Mischief, big red boots. <laughs> Yo, that's so hard. Mischief, Astro Boy shoes. So, is this something with mischief? Astro Boy mischief. Yes. Big red boots, mischief boots. Mischief boots. No. Now close. M S C H F. Did I get it? I get it. Why I got like a whole name? I don't know. Big red boots? No. no? Okay, hold on, man. Misfit. No. It's misfit. Gran bota roja. Sí, sí. Are they no? big red boots? No? I'm, it's an Astro Boy boots. Those are the Astro Boy. You're lying. Is there a full name? Whoever win it, is congratulations. It, is it Mischief? Big red boots? The Mischief? Let's go, man! That's my <laughs> Call the Mischief Big Red Boots real high fashion. Hi, baby. Hi, Miami, baby. If you don't know about it, you gonna know about it soon enough. Hype Miami. Ready, I'm warming up, I'm ready to go. Got the Pumas on, you know what I'm saying? A little fit check. Jordan's fit's weak, but you know, it's all right. That's all right. The camera turned on, he starts hitting shots now. Hey. Hey. Come on. Guys, one of you's winning a Travis Scott box. <laughs> Make sure y'all subscribe. This might be the last time you see Marcus after this beatdown, man. Come on. In a 21. In a 21. Win by two. Win by two. Let's see it. Come on. Start it off. Bomb. Take back everything. Yes, sir. As always. As always. Damn. One zero. One zero. Hey. Oh. Two zero. I got that stroke too. Hey! <laughs> I can't tell you. Whoa! <laughs> hey! Good move, boy. Can you do that 21 times? <laughs> Don't think so. Oh, That's a good take. Two up. Two up. Hey, five four. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> hey. Six five. Better wipe those shoes off. Seven five. All right, eight five, bro. I should have done three games to seven. Not gonna lie, I was gassed halfway through. Eight five. The ones are more exhausting than a regular game because you gotta do everything. Eight five. I just pass the ball usually. Good push. A six. Good. Seven eight. Nine eight, gas. Nine eight, gain to fifteen. One by two. There's one. Oh, hey, that's crazy. Eleven eight, eleven. Yeah, yeah. Eleven eight. Don't let me shoot it again. Thirteen eight. Game point. Game point. All the marbles. 
I'm trying to hit a clip. Got it. 14, wow. 10. Game time. Let's go, game time. Let's see something. 14, 10. Oh, Hell no. Nah. <laughs> wow. I know it's slippery right there. Stop playing. That was a good game. Good game, boy. You killed it, I'm not gonna lie. I was gassed. We can go to 21 if you want. No. All right, let's Yo, go. Yo, your cardio is good, bro. What the f It's that vegan You're like diet, not even tired. Well, uh, I guess I gotta explain this to Yuri. Shout out Marcus for doing what he does best, losing us money and taking out. <laughs> Serious, bro? <laughs> it's just what it is. Hey, thank you, bro. You don't know how long I've been wanting these shoes and it feels so much better to take them from you, man. Yeah, that's Come fine. On. Congrats, bro. Hype family. Y'all still the winners because we still gonna do a giveaway for the hype family, yeah. all right? We ain't doing the Travis's. All right, all right. We gonna get them right with a pair of dunks. Oh, so sure. make sure to subscribe, drop a comment. You're gonna be entered into the giveaway. Marcus, thank you, bro. Thank you. I'm gonna lace these up. Oh. Come on now. Enjoy them, bro. That's a fire, fire pair. All in all, it was a fun game. I'm glad he was up for the challenge, but Jordan, I'm gonna hit the gym, get the treadmill, get my cardio going, and next time, I think I can beat you. Super blessed with the opportunity to be at this watch event, let alone actually meet Kevin O'Leary. This is my son, Marcus. How's it going? I'm extremely proud because this young child has been running his business since he was 17 years old. He's been financially independent since he was 15, and last year he did two million in revenue this summer. It was four million. Four million, I apologize, four million. Four million bucks. As someone who grew up watching Shark Tank, it was crazy to see Kevin be impressed by our numbers. And he started his business with $2,000, and I never gave him a penny. You're doing secondary market access. Same as him, just sneakers. Watch your sneakers, same thing. Are you into sneakers at all? No, no, I, I just do Prada. There's a crazy market to buy art poster. You know, it's funny, there's actually not that many stores there. It's crazy to think, I guess no, it's, it's, it's all online. I think that's uh, the next location, what do you think? I just opened a store in Miami. I'm gonna bother you one time, do you mind if I get a picture? Yes. All right, let's do it. Thank you. Cool, I appreciate it. It was nice to meet you. The Travis Scott Jordan won low. How much do you think this is worth? Yeah, Travis Scott. $350? Yeah. A little bit. How much is the market value of these? Oh, God. I'm going to say $1,000. you are close. $1,500. Boom. Hell, dude. That's a free pair of socks. If you had to guess the market value, what would you say within 10%? Right now, I mean, Kanye leaving, it definitely went down. So I'm going to say 300 bucks. 300 mm -hmm. bucks. It's close. This is the original this V1. The One more V1. guess. 375. Mm -hmm. uh, now I use brand new. <laughs> hey, you got to link it. You got to make sure. 842. A little lower. A little lower. I'll give you one more chance. 624. Oh, wow. That's right on. Right on. Quick video. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I'm injured, I'm injured. It's just like an off... Uh... It's a Yeezy, it's a Kanye West shoe. Oh God, man, these are expensive. 325. Oh, that was Bro, pretty spot on. Dead on. Dead on. Good, huh? You know what these are? No. These are the Yeezy slides. It's pretty close. Pretty I think close. that's it. It was that's like 250. Pair. You're like Santa Claus right now. I'm not gonna lie. Do you know what the sneaker is right here? Nikes? Bruh. They're Jordan 1, lost and found. 450. I think it's close enough for socks. Right. Price was 550. Nice. It's very close. Do you know what these are? Yeah. It's actually a limited edition collaboration. It's called the Protection Pack. Very close. Damn. 400. She's good. That was close. 470. That's pretty close. That's it was 400, close. yeah. yeah. So so wait, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. 400. That was very close. Close. He knows Here his stuff. Some Appreciate hype socks. Yeah. Check him out, hold him, and let me know what your guess is. It's higher. Oh, dude. 1,600. Cool. You're the winner, yeah. bro. <laughs> Let's go. There you go. You got some free socks. Can I scan the QR code? Seems one. like he's been to our store. For nine and a half, so that lowers the price a little bit. $1,200. 1,600. Oh, you, you were close. Damn. If you got within 100, I would have given to I you. I can't believe that you let me hold $1,600. Hey, man. Hey, man. Well, actually, it's one shoe. So it's so 800. That's right. Wow. Oh, should we give him the socks anyways? I mean, I, I don't know. That logic was too good to not give him yeah, the socks. Yeah, I think it's a lost and found Jordan 1. Limited edition. 450. That was very close. 500. You know? There you go. Close enough. 300. We'll give it to him. How many of these are there? Probably a lot. It's still a limited edition, but there's a lot more than you might think. Just take a guess. You got it. Damn. Dude, right on! No. There you go, brother. Those are some hype socks. Enjoy wow. Them. We got to see you wearing them. Close enough. <laughs> you know what? You get a free pair of socks. Here you go. Thank on you. Us. You can't keep the shoe, though. <laughs> He bought these shoes and then he came to the store to see if they were real. He wanted to put them next to ours. And this is the difference between fake jarritos and real jarritos. So look at this. Every time a hype sneaker drops, there's always gonna be fakes out there. The swoosh is greener here. The cut is completely different. It's insane. Look at the tag. The difference in the inside is crazy. Now you can tell it. So are you now gonna go on a hunting mission to China and get this guy? No, man. I mean, bro, you gotta I knew, get him. I knew they were fake. I, I just mean, wanted to see. You have the resources, though. You can call to see somebody. What, what? Of course. Like, you know. Look at this fat. 
swoosh. This is huge. This is huge. I don't, I don't wear glasses. I don't know if you guys wear glasses, but if you, if you can see these swooshes, the dead giveaway is the swoosh. Boom. And then if you look at the inside, that's another big giveaway. But then if you even put it far back, you can see the difference in color. Just put it far back and you can tell that this one is bolder. It actually has some color versus this one. It's just kind of light muted. So don't buy fake shoes. Oh my God, even the laces. Jeez, <laughs> look at the laces. Randomly ran into Jorge Masvidal in Brickle. We told him about our store and he actually wanted to check it out. Purples, what color do you like? These are cool. Argan blues. We got oh, high tops, you got some high tops? High tops, yeah. If you like, if you like ones or, you like dunk high tops? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Let me get the iPad actually. I'll just know exactly what I have in your size so I don't waste your time. Yeah, I just I just recently got into UFC and shit. like he put me on and it's a, it's a dope sport, man. I've been a fan of Masvidal ever since I started watching UFC years ago. It's super crazy seeing him right here shopping at our store. So yeah, this is literally every dunk and then whatever you like, pull it out for you. Yeah, we got a good selection here. I think Brickle's gonna do well this area, a lot of money and shit. So. And no other sneaker store too. We're the only ones in Brickle. Stop. Besides yeah. Nike, but they don't got well, shit yeah, over there. It's kinda crazy how they don't get anything allocated. They have that shoe store, what was it called? Did they have like a, a separate shoe store? They had like a, I mean they have outlets everywhere in Florida, but like they don't really have many like stores where you could walk in and buy reds. Hell yeah, I got you there. Oh, that's right here. Damn. Wanna try them on? No. No? This is, this is it? This is it. <laughs> Those are clean. <laughs> and the Nike Air on the back, because all the all the retros they do now have the Jordan, but this is like the tag. This is it, bro. But yeah, definitely want to give these to you, bro. Big fan, so. Hi, Miami, baby. Oh. Grand opening soon. Well, <laughs> I know the grand opening is. For sure. When is it? First uh, week of August. That's what we're aiming for, but. Oh, I'm back to six. I think Wayne's for, for the event now in Utah. Mm -hmm. Come back to six, you said the first week? Yeah, first week. But we'll be open, bro. We'll be around. I can grab your details if anything. I'll let you know. Nav's here. It's pretty cool. Met him last night. Pulled up to the store, so he's gonna do some shopping. Rolling Loud weekend. A lot of superstars in town, and I actually met Nav at Rolling Loud. He ended up pulling up the next day, and it was super cool to meet him in person. But listening to his music for a long time. Let's see what he's gonna pick up. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, bro. How long are you here for? Just today? Yeah, I'm supposed to leave. I'm still debating. I'm gonna stay with my night. It's Miami, man. There's always yeah. going on. I mean. <laughs> he smokes everywhere. He smoking. We got that gas. I ain't got that gas. That show was crazy though yesterday. Oh, Uzi. I, might need, I, need, I might need a half up. I didn't know it was women's size. Yo, Yuri, we have an 11? Size 11, let me see. Women's olive? We only have the black phantom and the reverse mocha. It's the, we don't have the olives in a size up. We got the reverse mocha, it's similar. I'll squeeze that size, it's not that fast. You got the next size up, you got I, the 11? I don't have 11, 11 and a half. 11 and a half? Yeah, 11 and a half. As long as it's not chopping 11, the toes 11, off. But we could also show you everything we have in your size, so it's easy, you don't have to oh, look, yeah, look yeah, through yeah, everything. Cool. This is nine and a half, and then I can switch on other size for you. I see them Tiffany's. Tiffany's, right up there. New balances, yeah, dude, that's the shit right now. New balances, the shit. Yeah, throw those on. This is all, um... That's all nine and a half. You want to see like nine or ten? That's the one. That's got to be huge. That's huge. Not a lot. The one that I first tried on this. Huh? First one you tried on? Get a lot 50. Teamwork makes a dream work. Yes, sir. It'd be a lot easier if we were all set up in the store, but we'll be open in a few weeks. Yeah. Pain. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, Miami's different. People just wear whatever. Got a decent stack so far. Tiffany's, olives, olives, off-whites. What else? You got the protection packs. I'm surprised you took those, honestly. You guys want to look at clothes? Yeah, sure. All right, what size? Depends, large, medium. Yeah, I'm, I wear every size. Just to go through that. Some of them are shaped like kind of a weird size. This is a double XL. Oh, weird. Shit. That looks like my size. Yeah. Essential. Shorts? I don't really see no clothes I really want. Like, yeah, the shirt. the shirts, we sell them for around like 250 people, bro, every day. It's been blowing up like crazy. Cause they're hot, they, exactly. I wouldn't even know that they're hot and I got all this in my closet. I'd spend 100K on Hellstar right now, but they just don't have enough. They just don't have enough. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. 100%. Jesus, we the complex con, they give us mad shit. Complex con, so that was before they like really blew up. That's before, That's they, before blew up. they really blew up. Now they're like Hollywood and shit. Like, That's crazy. So those two, and then which ones? The olives? The 10 and a half work, right? The 10 and a half, the first one you tried on. Yeah, and then uh, me you pick up these? It's his birthday, no? Yo, what's up, it's your boy Nav, you know, I just cashed out at Hype. We got a great opening in two weeks, so put them. Yeah. Appreciate you. Yo. Appreciate you guys, thanks for making it happen. If y'all ever need anything in Miami, you know what to call. I got you. Yo! Yo! Nav's Nav used roach, man. 3,000, hit me. 
It's early morning, July 14th, and it's move out day. We actually scheduled to pick up the keys the day we started moving out from Coconut Grove, Friday morning. This is the spot, we got the fire alarm going off. It is today, Friday, July 14th. Less than three weeks left to turn this into a sneaker store. Yeah! yeah. Woo! <laughs> All right, now let's make sure the AC works. This is, this is the biggest part. Woo! Look at that, that toilet looks gross, man. Oh, holy shit. outlets work. Yep, back at the store now, and pretty much moving everything around. A lot of work, but it's not hard work. You know, like, we got a lot of people here, so I think it's just, it'll be pretty easy. It feels like when we first opened the store, it's scary, but it's a new chapter. On to the next. the store after a nice little long day of work. We got pretty much all of the shelving done in here. This is way, way overdue. Day one's pretty much over. It's not that late to be honest. It's like six o'clock I think. Moving the shoes tomorrow, bright and early. So we're out here on day two, moving out of the store. Yesterday we pretty much like prepped everything. Now we're basically moving. We got all the clothes pretty much done inside. All we got left is pretty much shoes. So it's only like 9.30. We're almost done the clothing. Gotta finish the shoes, get to the store. The shelves are already there ready so we can just start organizing. And let's get it. The store is now actually empty of shoes. No more shoes. Uh, walls are looking bare, echoing in here. This is crazy. I'm honestly surprised. I thought it would take longer, more trips, whatever, but nothing here, man. I can hear my echo. I can, I can walk freely in here. So this is pretty much going to be our last time here. It's, it's sad, man. The birth of hype happened within these walls. Last day in the Grove. We out of here. This is really anticlimactic. room and I can actually walk which is hella more room in here you can walk because all the inventory is out there relax the inventory is gonna go on the shelf way more shelving now because tomorrow put everything on the shelf making it nice and clean look beautiful I'm super excited it's gonna help our filming helping customers finding shit. just so much stuff is gonna be way better so I'm excited yeah I think we'll be done tomorrow for sure I arrive at the store the morning before the grand opening and holy shit, the store is not ready to go. As you can see, very packed house today in the store. Last day, which means a lot of work. As you can see, this is the most important thing that we're gonna do today. They're gonna install it right now. The clothing racks, because we've been literally waiting so long to put everything out. We've done the QR codes on each clothing item. It's going over there too, but they have to finish that. Zen Garden, that's a quick one. They're just gonna dump a bunch of sand in there. It's like 15, 20 minutes. But yeah, I think we're gonna be here till like midnight tonight. So it's gonna be a long day. All this wood in the middle, that's gonna be our new register. This one was all right, but it didn't really cut it. We want like something more professional and big figure out the sign situation right now. Signage is a really tough issue when you have a physical retail store. You'd be surprised a lot of issues behind that. But yeah, we're getting ready for tomorrow. I'm, I'm excited. Guys, 6.15 on Friday night. It looks like we're gonna be here all night because this store does not look finished. Uh, I don't know about you, Gilly. I think we'll make it happen. This is gonna be cut in half. We're gonna have two benches to be able to try stuff on, which is awesome. He's working on the center island, which is massive. I didn't realize how big it was. We're gonna paint the whole thing. They're gonna be painting the inside of that so we can put the floating shelves up, which is gonna be sick. We're gonna have 20 pairs of floating shoes. And there's a lot to do. I know exactly what's gonna happen, but like, it's six o'clock, man. I can't believe they waited till the last minute to finish this. I'm about to do this shit myself. 17 hours, bro. Still, the store is like, the door is open, like, welcome time. Hey, look at the store. Look, 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 no, look. Like, no speed. Bro. Look over there. Crazy. Bro, we pulled off everything we've tried to pull off before. So why wouldn't we pull this off too? Seven o'clock. Give us like 12 hours, guys. We'll see you guys in the morning. This is gonna look way better. We have to open at 11 a.m. tomorrow and the store looks like this. We're not sleeping tonight. 10.05 a.m., man. It's a line outside. Be lit right now. We just waiting on everybody else to get here. Got about an hour left. Should be a movie. Luckily, we made it through that night. Marcus and I got zero sleep. In fact, this is what it looked like at 3 a.m. We had people waiting outside as early as 7 a.m., so I had to go outside and give some stuff away for free. Y'all want some free kicks? This is a nine and a half. Right here, right here. Show up. Everyone's a nine and a half. Over the first one, it's 
to tell me where the first store was you get these? Okay, no, 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 no. This is funny as <laughs> I don't know what to say. I was in shock how many people were waiting in line. I used to be that kid that used to wait in line at sneaker stores, and now it's crazy to see people waiting outside my sneaker store. Shirts, 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 shirts,
remember seeing this clip right here of Aiden Ross giving away a pair of $10,000 shoes to a random person at the mall. That's wild, bro. What the f how much do you want for them? Because I'm gonna be honest, like I don't really value the diamonds at anything because it's just like no one, no one really cares. Shit. Diamond Jordan? Like, I don't know on, if this. I would even. That's some drip, dude. I don't even know like what price range you're at because they're used. Like for example, I was looking at with box. They're no box, no at nothing. Yeah. Just right here, whatever you have. Selling for like 5.4, and then I saw one with no box of like 4.4, 4.3. You just give me an offer with no. The size 10. They're my size. Yeah, you can put him on the toe. Boy wants Aiden Ross's pair for the Percy? Oh no! Aiden, Marcus Sharp stole your shit. Dude, <laughs> Aiden Ross's personal Dior Jordan 1 low. Yeah. Drop a comment below if he should grab these right now. I won't f him up, don't worry. Dog. Alright, let me see. Give me one second. Let me see. You can always negotiate for I like to get the buyer's offer first. But the buyer's offer first is always the low ball. You already know that. You sell shoes? Yeah. Nice. You're from Miami? I used to go to like sneaker con and they're missing the insoles, the extra insoles. They're missing the actual lace lock. They're missing the little pendant. I guess this would be the pendant, but it's just Oh, oh this is like the original. Just oh, this is original. He, he just encrusted the, the original. Yeah. Okay. He bought it to a jeweler and he got it like indented. That was it. Like it's a special product. It's not, I'm not No, saying, yeah, it's not. It's easy to move, but like I think if you find the right person. You gotta tell me a price. What's the price? Start the price off. How much do you want? Four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half, and I low key don't think it's a bad. Price. I'll give you that price just because you know. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. You want to get rid of it? Because the thing is, with the no box and the no extras and everything, that's You're that's the only move. thing. What's your offer? I have an offer for four, and I can show you. The you message. have an offer for four. Yeah. Oh, four is not a bad offer. Four is honestly probably what I would sell them for. I'll probably realistically sell them for like four or five max, and I would because this would take like a while to oh, sell. I started at forty-five. Let's do forty-one. You're gonna get mad media from this thing just keeping it in your store. It's gonna bring business, and you know it. This guy's a good salesman. I like I like the energy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But they're used, bro. Barely though. If you just hold them like this and you put them on the display, you can barely see it. Besides these like little ass stuff right here, they're brand new, bro. And you know it's gonna bring you business. I come up to like 35. 35 is too low. I can't do 35. I have an offer for four. I'm just doing it because you know, like my boy was the one who told me to come to you. So why don't you take right. four? If you're gonna take four, if you offer me 41, why don't you take four? Because my friend told me to come here. I'm gonna be charging. How much did you get an appraised for? Just the diamonds. You have an appraisal with you? No BS. That's the real diamonds. He said he got appraised the diamonds for like 2,000, but diamonds aside, regardless, the actual shoe with no box. No extras, whatever. What do you think? I offered 35. Mina said 37.50. 39. My brother said don't go under four, and I'm already like going under four. 38. 39. I can't go under 39. 38. Bro, it's three. Bro, nah, I can't do it. I drove all the way down here. How far? I'll pay your gas. That's like 39. That's what he wants. 39. I just want 39 cash. Coin flip. 39, 38. We're at 38. You're at 39. So we do a coin flip. 38, 39. I can't do that, bro. It's not coin my flip. own shoe. It's 50, 50. But it's not on my own shoe. I can't be just doing it. Like so that. call your brother and tell him. Bro, he won't do it. I'm telling you. He said, Lucas, don't go under four. If I tell him that I'm going under four, he's like, get the fuck out the store. I know him, bro. Kid's stubborn kid. He thought he was gonna get eight for the shoe. I'm like, you're an idiot. I have to tell him to come down. 38. 39. All right. If you want 39, we can do a coin flip. You can test oh, your 39. luck. 39. I don't think we can do it. Yes, you can, bro. It's 100 bucks. It's 100 bucks for you. And it's Same 100 shit. 100 bucks for you. you need, I need 100 bucks way more than you do. <laughs> That's a good one. I heard that one way too many times. 38. That's 39, the best I could do. 39. I don't think it does. The real estate market in Miami is pretty high. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think a coin flip is fair. It's more than I wasn't even gonna say I'm that. 38 and 4,000 for coin flip. No, that's the same thing as me paying 39. I'd pay 39. That might be yeah, point. We were at 35. 39. We went up to no, 39, I 38. I actually can't go 38. I can't. I'm sorry. 38, 5, final. Yeah, that's in the middle. That's like more than I wanted to pay. 5, 30, 50. Mazal. <laughs> Here we go. Props to him. He was a super good negotiator, but you already know we end up closing the deal. The shoes are beautiful. I love the story. So let's see what we can do with them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five. You got the old Sounds good. Thanks, bro. This is a crazy one. This guy just walks in. He says, I have Aiden Ross's old Dior Jordan 1 Lowe's. I'm like, what? He shows me the video. This guy, Aiden Ross, literally took his shoes off his feet because they were hurting him and gifted it to this kid's brother. So he brought him in. He said, how much can I get for him? They didn't come with the box, you know, any of the extras, obviously, because he just gave them to him off his feet. But they came with these bedazzled in diamonds, the hang tag, the little Air Force tag, Air Jordan tag, and the Jordan logo, the Jumpman. It came with them all diamond out, the AR for Aiden Ross, of course, which is pretty cool. Maybe we can even sell that. I don't know if we're going to sell it separately. We'll probably just sell the store of the shoe itself with all the accessories with it but obviously with it being used without it having a box or the extra insoles or the extra laces all that stuff the value goes down I think we'll be able to sell these if someone is an Aiden Ross fan they'll definitely want to buy these I think at least 5,000 it might take a little bit to sell because this is a very niche shoe but I'm really tempted to wear these this condition is really good he only wore them probably like once or twice yeah no 100% he said you could almost smell the new like a little <laughs> you bit you can smell Aiden I can smell it. <laughs> Aiden crazy pickup today super 
brand. I'm great for the video. Yeah, if you want Aiden Ross's Dior's, we'll probably still have them by the time this video goes live. Yo. Aiden, come get your shoes, bro. Nowadays, man, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> bro, That's crazy. Yo, this kid deadass came in. He was like, "Yo, Aiden told me not to sell these, but fuck it, I need the money, bro." Insane, man, insanity. I got you though. Come through. I'll give them back to you. I got COVID right now. I'm gonna come in the next couple days. That's cool. Yeah, of course. Come through. As soon as I saw him, I said, "We gotta call Aiden." That's f***ed up. These shoes are like ten G's for sure. Dude, and the diamonds and everything. How much you spent on the diamonds? The diamonds, like, well, it was a gift. The guy told me he put a few thousand in the diamonds. That's ten grand right there with the shoes and the diamonds. Easy ten grand. Easy ten grand. You don't want to know what I paid for them too. I go, listen, bro. I go, listen, bro. Get these back to Aiden. His relationship is way more than whatever you gave that kid. Let's, I'm going to hit him right now, and he'll come through and get them shoes. And that relationship that's alone will be worth way more than some that's, dusty that's, cute kid. That's love, bro. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to come in the next two days. I'll save my number, and I'll put you guys on three-way, too. Yeah, lock me in. All right, brother. Appreciate, appreciate you, buddy. You, All right, bye. <laughs> All right, guys, we got a super exciting episode today. We're actually going to Neil's house right now from Timepiece Trading. He's got a crazy collection. Neil told me he spent over $200,000 on sneakers and clothing in his life. I thought that was crazy, so I had to go check it out. I don't know if I believe that, but we're going to go check it out. We got a little care package for him for letting us come to his crib and film. Let's see what he's got. All right, guys, we're outside Neil's house right now. Super excited to see what he's got in his closet. I've seen him wear some stuff, but I don't know exactly what's inside there. Let's come check it out. We're here today. You already know what we're here today to do. We're checking out your closet. We want to see what you got inside. I know you're always dripping sneakers, clothes, head to toe. Always good. First, though, let's break down the fit. What you got on, head to toe. Uh, in some gallery, I copped it actually this, this weekend with uh, Adam and Dunks. Off white dunks. How many do you have of those? I think like 10 or 11 of them. God damn. I would love to have all 50, bro. Honestly. I think that's a sick collection, especially because yeah. you could display it. You got 12, bro. 12, you got, yeah. That's tough to find shoes then. It uh, has to be. I mean, some shoes. I find them. Because, like, yeah. like the Louis Air Forces. Do you have a pair of Louis Air Forces or no? I had. I gifted them to my brother. Part of making the money is like showing the people you love, like, love. Giving it back. Yeah. Well, what do you got on your wrist, bro? I asked for the fit. For I, need AP see, skeleton, I, need, I need to see the wrist. <laughs> open work that's called actually stainless steel. Honestly, my favorite watch in the world. It's in this tattoo. If you could only have one watch and you have the money, I think nothing beats this. Oh, we trade steel yeah, AP, bro. Steel AP. Here we go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. well, open work scally. Crazy. First of all, I want to ask you, because I've seen you with pretty much everything that you can imagine. How much do you think you've spent on sneakers? If I had to guess, I would say on sneakers, like $200,000. I buy everything new, bro. I don't buy used. I never keep shoes new, bro. When I The day I buy them, I throw on a fit to match. I f*** them up on purpose, so I'm not worried about wearing them again. I have one pair of shoes that's new that I won't wear because I have duplicate, or like you may see a couple new, but I have duplicates that I wear. A lot of people do like one to rock, one to stock. Do you like that or you just want to wear everything? With some pairs. When I fall in love with the pair, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you get all this shit for retail? Do you get it nah. for... When I see a pair, like say I see you wearing a pair that I fall in love with, I'll, yeah. I'll find it and buy it. What's your favorite pair of shoes? Let's start there. These are my favorite. White Air Force, you can't go wrong. Everyone got those, let's be real. I got these. That's the OG OG. So this is a shoe, for example, that I used to be buying like brand new when it first came out, seven, eight hundred dollars I wish. And now this shoe's hitting for like three thousand. Like, okay. That's that's the thing with some of these shoes. If you do keep them brand new, like they literally appreciate Three thousand sounds like a great price, actually. Yeah. I think I paid more. Is this brand new? No, those are pre-owned, but you're gonna see 99% of the stuff. 99% is pre-owned. Pre -owned, yeah. yeah. Like I've worn everything, bro. How, how much are those? Three grand, that's probably, really? probably like two grand. Damn, I've worn those once and I hate them, bro. I hate throwing shoes out, bro. Like I can't, like no, I'm a hoarder. Three, you have a cool story behind any of these sneakers that, like, <laughs> I don't, that, I don't, that you like wanted as a kid or like that you like. In college, I would love sneakers, right? Like I would look at Yeezys, I would look at people wearing like the off-whites when they just came out, the UNCs. And at the time, they were only like 1100, 1200. It wasn't crazy like now. I actually bought fakes, like no cap. <laughs> I was a capper in college. I wore these fakes and I kept them. I have the real ones in my apartment in Brickell where we're gonna go after this. <laughs> this shit. Oh, so those are the fakes. <laughs> yeah, these two. And I have the real ones now as well, which is sick. Are these the fake? Yeah, they're fake, right? Bro, yeah, this is like just memories, you know? I had like two pairs of fake Yeezys too, which is why I was talking about Yeezys. And now I have like 40, I think, Legit, like 30, 40 pairs of real Yeezys. I can see how this would add up to 200,000. Now, now, now I see where, where we got. Going. The Zoom flies, I don't know how much these are hitting for right now. Probably right around a rack, if I had to guess. You're into the designer stuff. Tell me about that. You like, Dude, I'm you not like, at all. Bro, you have Louis Vuitton everywhere. I'm into <laughs> designer clothing, but the shoes, the shoes. I fucking hate, and I don't know why I bought so many. The craziest part is, is like most of these designer brands, they've ripped off all like the Jordan models. And like, if you compare like a Louis Vuitton trainer or like a Dior high top, like they all look like Converse's or like Nike's or. But they don't feel the 
same. But yeah, right there, that's probably another like three bands between those three pairs are probably a rack each, 1500 each. So. We got shoes up there. Those are like Yeezys, right? Some Yeezys, yeah, that's like 400 bucks. Those fly street wears, that's like another 400, eight, probably 100 bucks right there, nine, another four right there, that's 13. Those are Balenciaga socks. Some there. Balenciaga sock runners, couple hundred bucks. Uh, these are Louis. Yeah, I loved these back in the day. Actually. See, it literally looks like a Jordan 1. These are like Versace. Versace. These are like 600, I think. Louis, Dior, Dior. That's like a thousand each. Those are like probably 600 brand new. We're at like 14,000. What are these? I've never seen these before. I love this color because it matches a backpack I just got. Sick, is it new dunk? These slides are actually a G each, bro. I have three pairs of them, all colors. What? Yeah. It's like Louis selling them right now, red, blue, and black. There's three colorways. They're pretty comfy, yes. Which ones are most comfortable? Definitely easy slides. I feel like everyone knows that, but yeah. literally the most comfortable. And they're, they're good looking, bro. Yeah, I like the force too. This is one of the cleanest colorways. But are you guys like me where you go through phases of what you wear? Like right now, I'm only wearing dunks, I feel. And that's what's hot though right now, yeah, right? Yeah, that's something for us. And for girls, it's like dunks and New Balance. New Balance is really like taking off right now because they're doing collabs with like everyone. Like, True. Steve f***s with New Balance heavy. This is just what I've been wearing a lot. So I don't go through my whole closet because then I'll be taking 10 minutes to pick out a pair of shoes. So yeah. when you pick out a fit, what do you start with? You start with the shoes or you start with the watch? Where do you, where do you go? Bro? Oh, I'm trying to think. What, what did I do this morning? I picked the t-shirt first, then okay. pants to match, then I picked shoes. Watch and jewelry oh. all after I'm oh. fully ready out of the shower. All right, so you got some more off-whites here. These brand new right now are hitting for like seven, eight thousand oh, dollars, which yeah. is insane. When did you pick this one? I think I paid six for them. Six brand new? Yeah. That's a solid price. Uh, like a year ago, I think. Especially for a size 12. And these are brand new. And I beat them. You beat them. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I forget what they look like new, but that's how it should be, though. <laughs> Everyone wear your sneakers, man. I've been saying that. Honestly, if I had to put a number on it, everything in here, like you would definitely have six figures with the clothing. And obviously, like six figures, like in your closet, which is insane. And this is just here. You've given out gifts like crazy. You said you gave, gave away a Louis Vuitton Air Force One. You give people crazy shit. So you've definitely spent crazy amounts of money on sneakers. I've definitely given out six digits of clothing and sneakers, for sure. These are crazy. This is like, Nike stopped doing the nice leather that they do. Like this used to be probably like some of the nicest leather they did on ones. And they cheaped out recently with the newer one. I love, that's why I love these. So what's like the shoe that got you into it though? Like you saw that, like I need Yeezys, to Yeezys, bro. Yeezys? When yeah. they first came out, no cap. Like yeah. when I saw them and, and I saw the prices, it was like, damn, I have to work towards it. Like yeah. it's not a shoe I can just go buy and it made me start thinking about shoes. I was leasing an Audi S4 in college. It was 600 a month. Mm -hmm. So like Yeezys were like three months of the car for the turtles, like four. This is actually like, the it doesn't go for crazy money, but dude, the color scheme and the little thing is. I honestly just want to get rid of that. That's why I haven't worn them yet because of this little gold clip. Yeah. I'm so lazy to take laces in and out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> these, bro, and these are like some of the most faked shoes now. Like bro, like they've gotten the fakes for shoes. Like I don't know about watches, but like they got crazy good. Like Damn. people whole ass business, like for some people. I love those shoes. Yeah, you could rip this off and it, it reveals a whole other color under it. Should we do it? <laughs> I never knew that, bro. You're crazy, bro. Why don't we like make a little hole in it? All right, let's see. I'll it. remember it. Right, let's you see do it. it, you do it. All right, <laughs> you're the shoe guy. Are you sure there's something under that? I'm yeah, almost otherwise he, he got it. He owes me a pair of shoes. Yeah. He, likes to <laughs> he loves to gamble, bro. Yeah. I saw how much you make. It was on YouTube. So yeah. You know, you can yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm outside Hype and Brickle right now. I'm about to make a huge delivery for our $99 Air Forces. Let's see if I can carry them. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Wow, that was close. You guys hit the button? Huh? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh, <laughs> oh I don't know if I can carry this. Oh shit. Excuse me, sorry, sorry. Oh, fuck. oh. oh. <laughs> It's just like, it's too much. <laughs> Oh, yeah, what you got in your cooler? Oh, 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 so sorry. Excuse me. Did you just grab my phone out of my pocket real quick. I'm getting cold. Oh. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Could you grab my phone out of my pocket? Oh. Oh. You grab the one on top. I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm so sorry. Could you get my phone out of my pocket? I just have. Oh, oh my God. Oh. 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 Hey, what up, y'all? Tapping for that gap. Oh. All right, guys, that was pretty successful. Then we got some crazy reactions. I'm hungry, but that was really funny. Let us know if you guys want to see it again. What's up, brother? <laughs>
Bobby was easily one of the coolest celebrities I've ever met. He had the craziest energy as soon as he walked through the door. His energy was through the roof. I knew we were gonna have a banging video and I knew that it was gonna be a great time. I didn't see no shit like this. Okay, this is why I go, oh, that's why I get everybody. I always see this shit. <laughs> oh, no, get my food, get my food. Oh, what the f Get my food, I always see those strings on this shit. Hold on. Oh. We got a little zen garden over here with our exclusives. <laughs> there we go, Shmerda. So, this is us right here. So you got the black on white, you got the wash black on black, you got the white on black, black on black, white on black, wash black white. I got the white on black, got the black on black, can't even see the sun. What is this? Black on white. Yep. Hey, all my, my god babies, right? My nieces and nephews, these know how to stop having kids. I tell these stop. The on these but yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get their little Jordans on. Oh, that's fine. Who that for? Mars Lobster. Who that for? That's we got the lobster. Got some nasty. So, this is some future rob robbing All shit. Right. You, got the, you gotta have the magic touch. Oh, oh, let's go. You locked the door? You locked in, you locked in. Oh, I locked the door. There it is, there it is. Four and a half right here. Air Jordan 1 padded breads. You like these? All right, four and a half in the Spider-Mans. Four and a half in these. Huh? A Mary scary, a Mary. All right, let's move on to size one. Let's move on to the six and a half, orange lobster. Who's that for? This is SB. This is for Ja. Yo, Ja, you little badass mother One of the rare shoes out there in the game. Let's see, pull out some 10Cs. Yeah. Like a bunch Moves. of 8Cs right Moves. here. Yeah, I got those. These two are good. That's for a we got military blacks, we got lost and founds, we got the Spider-Man ones, I got some more over here. The diamond shorts, mid. That's a little BJ right the there. cherries right but, here. And we got oh, the full gray 11. That's fire. That little BJ, my little baby boy. <laughs> that my little dog. He, he gonna try to eat all them <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like these, the cherries. I like those too. Yeah, these are hard. I like those too. All right, let's do these two. Okay. Spider-Man and the cherries and the ACs. So this is 10C. Okay. King Zoo. The red and the blue. The red and the blue. The red and the blue. And then we got the two Ys. All I got in two Ys is the three blacks and lots of pounds. Okay, gang, gang. That's good. Go with the um, school outfit. Lottie Pack Gray. That's good. Got the Lottie Pack Green. I got those. And I got the University of Miami. Yeah. What you can do is that you can scratch the swoosh. You can scratch the swoosh oh, with I got the coin, this. and then it comes out those jack little four slots. Yeah. I get the what? Like the sevens change and the cherries. I got that in the crib. I can change the color. Yeah, man. bro. Oh, that's, it. that's that fire. Yeah. That's fire. When he came in, he said, He's not there for himself. He's there for his family and his kids. He bought almost every single toddler and preschool size that we had, and he brought some crazy energy. Yo, bro, so let me ask you real quick. What's one pair off the top of your head that you've always wanted to have? The Bo Jacksons, I love those. Bo Jacksons? I got some Hillies. My mom's bought me some Hillies. I'm, I'm gonna wear them on my 30th birthday. I used to bust my ass on them, <laughs> bro. I can't, I can't rock the Hillies, bro. You won't wear them on stage? I swear I would've on stage. I wear anything I wear. I got money, right. <laughs> Hey, yo, listen, I'm at height. Can't do for the guy. Kids, Bobby's like, kids, play. I got a call this morning from Yuri. I was just expecting a bunch more packages to be delivered, but FedEx actually had an issue with our packages because apparently we had to do a few things to the addresses on some of the boxes in order for us to get as many as possible to the same address. So they basically said, we're not delivering your packages, you have to pick them up. They call us and threaten to send back over a quarter million dollars worth of inventory back to Adidas. Luckily, I've been in position before about two years ago where FedEx did the same exact thing to me, so I knew exactly what to do. When you're working in situations like this, you gotta work on the fly. I got a call from Yuri within 15 minutes. I had a U-Haul and I was on the way to FedEx. We actually have to pick up Yuri's brother because his last name is the one that's on all the packages, so they need an ID. This is a whole mess. I didn't expect to be doing this right now, but you gotta adapt. I think there's about 350 packages today, but we're gonna have to pick up the rest of them as they come. Camera's, Camera's always out, come on. You ready? Yeah, what's up, How you doing? Well, you can tell, like, moving forward, we're gonna do address modifications, just so as long as we can, we're cool with these packages that are already placed, then uh, it won't happen again. His name's all right, sounds good. So I'll give him a call when I'm pulling it. As you guys can see, we're pulling out of FedEx as we speak. Couldn't really film on the cameras, you know. Didn't want to invade too much privacy. But regardless, mission success. The U Haul is filled with packages, almost 400 packages in the back right now. The guy wasn't very happy, but listen, you got to do what you got to do. Made sure that he's going to secure the rest of our packages, which is still over 1,000, which is crazy because we've already done over 500 at the warehouse. We got almost another 500. So, guys, 
almost 2,000 packages. This is probably one of the biggest hauls we've done ever, it might be actually, um, but we're just getting started. But yeah, we're going to the warehouse right now, unbox everything and see what we got. More packages. As you already know, we customized Neil's Travis Scott SBs and we did a little touch on them, a little custom pendant on the shoelaces. I love how these came out. Diamonds is blinging right here. I love this right here. I think he's gonna really love it. Gonna be here any minute. Chop it up. What's up, bro? Good. How you doing? Good. Check this wow. out. Look what we did on the, on the I little. I see that, bro. That it's crazy. Yeah, we custom them. So we need to add something like special to it. And the best thing is you can you can remove those and you can put it on whatever shoes Bro, you want. I'm gonna leave them right here. Yeah, that's it's fire. So dope. I was low key like getting impatient with Marcus. Dude, <laughs> it took so long. It's all me, bro. Cause like we custom them a while ago, but we were just waiting on this to come in because we custom ordered it. You know how we do, bro? Right out of the rain, and they look brand new. Yeah, bro. We cleaned them up a little bit for you, so they were beat the fuck up, bro. You wore them. Yeah, I wear all my shoes, bro. Damn, these are so sexy, bro. Yeah, they're hardest. I think they're fake. The hardest. No one has them like that. What? Nah, bro. They're so crazy. People, yeah. people, people don't even know. In case you don't want to wear the uh, the custom ones, you got the brand new ones. So. Actually, these look like. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, those are so much better. With the lightning, like, snap. Gilly snap. That was all him, so. Who's Gilly? Him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he does the customs, so, like, anytime, like, people want customs or anything. pattern on the inside, though. Yeah, super. He gives it that contrast, you know? Dude, I was like, damn, I need one of these. I was like, yo, that's kind of hard. Like, I'm not even a big diamond guy, but, yeah. Hi, Marcus. <laughs> It would be crazy. That's the brand new SBs, and this is the off whites right here. This is a good one, too. I love these. The baby blue tub is cool. That's what I said. That's my favorite part, 100%. You have the other ones? The, they came in a pack, these and the black ones. I don't like all black shoes. Oh, okay. They're all black, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Dude, that bling is so small, but it, like, it pops. Yeah, for real. Really Dude, I like these two, actually. They're all black, even though I just said I wouldn't. The <laughs> yeah, that's the 50. You have the, So you have the one and the, and the 50. Those are the like rarest ones. So that's the one that you have already, and that's the 50 out of 50 so they made the least out of those two colorways the last time i touched this i ruined it no you didn't bro. not uh you just don't worry you'll get used you get used to it it's pretty easy gotta get you a pair of shorts it's hard Thank you, bro. yeah absolutely and if you ever want to see something like that you have like you need like the day of our website you can see your buy your size everything we have and she's like yo let me get this and i got you thank you my brother anytime always appreciate Pleasure. you coming by see you mr Fury. Where's, bro i'll try not to run you over <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, Hype Miami, best shoe store in Miami. They replaced all my old sneaker plugs. You even took over Goat, which I love. <laughs> Bro, they made me the dopest Travis ever, yo. Check out their YouTube video and make sure you come check out the store in Brooklyn. Amazing people, amazing price. If you guys want to see more stuff like this in the future, please let us know. Give us some ideas in the comments. Early morning Labor Day, I get a call from one of my employees that we are flooded. And I don't mean that in a good way. I'm not talking about customers. I'm talking about water all over the ground. This is the third time there's been a flood in one of our stores. I don't know what's going on. I come in early Labor Day and literally the floor is filled with water. There's puddles everywhere. The counter is almost soaking. Apparently the night before, one of our neighbors decided to have a phone party inside of the restaurant. Someone's gotta fill me in on what the f happened here. I know our floor is getting repainted, but what happened? Foam party up to their chest Sunday night. I come in and Gilly comes in at 12 Labor Day. This was all water There was water everywhere. There was an inch of water that baseboard right here is still wet So wait, they threw a foam party inside like inside their building Isn't a foam party supposed to be like outside like where you like look at this where it's like not holy <laughs> Yo, that's wow. So what? So they're, they're gonna fucking fix this, obviously, right? Yeah, I mean, I just talked to the GM this morning, and he is going to talk to the owner. Their maintenance people already agreed to. They don't want to go through insurance or anything like that, and they just want to fix it themselves. Dude. We share two walls with them. Yeah. But this wall, I guess this is the dance floor right here, or yeah. the front area. The back room is completely dry. Okay. Thank God. Dude, no, we share this wall next door. Oh, the water from the phone party obviously seeped into the, their floor and then seeped through our wall. I mean, I don't even know. What the f are they thinking? That, that's crazy. <laughs> Last Black Friday was an absolute shit show. We had to make it up this year. The crazy steals that we were giving away went super quick. We didn't expect that many people to show up. There's people camping out from 8 p.m. the day before. We learned a lot from last year and I was determined to make sure this year was 10 times better.
guys know, our store is in the middle of Brickell, the hottest area in Miami, and we got a lot of superstars coming into the store. We had Ronnie J come into the store the other day. If you don't know who that is, you probably know him by his producer tag. I'll pop it up oh right here. God, but he came through to the store. He actually picked up a pair of sneakers that we didn't have, so we sourced it for him in under three days, and now we're on the way to hand deliver it to him. Stay tuned to see what he picked up. Hi, how's it going? I'm visiting Ronnie. Appreciate it. They let me through, so I'm just trying to find your house. Come to the crib in the front, bro, with the whips. All right, I'll see you. All right, bro. Got your olives in your size, source. Oh, shit, yeah. Absolutely. They're size 10 and a half women's, nine men, so. Had to get the trash, you. had to get the trash. They're beautiful, bro. And I got yeah, you a little gift. Bro. Everyone needs a pair of clean white horses. Yeah, I just had to get you one, that, size nine. <laughs> Gotta keep the whites, you know what I mean? The whites clean, always, yeah, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate you letting us pull up on you. Yeah, and yeah. you already know, if you ever need anything else, hit me, I got you, bro. Height, my <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. Yeah, I appreciate you, bro. Yeah. yeah, we do like a little behind the scenes. It's just like a little bit of everything. We get some celebrities on there, so it's cool. You know, but I appreciate it. you being in it. Uh, yeah, bro. That hype, you ain't doing it right. <laughs> Let's get it, baby. Cause right, I don't know bro. if you want to put hype, my. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fire. I fuck with that better. Your boys went to UM. I went you to UM. I dropped out, but. <laughs> what about you? You're from you're from Miami, right? No, I'm from Jersey. You're from Jersey? Yeah. Oh, what part? Uh, south, like right near Philadelphia. I'm from Philly, so that's why yeah. I asked. Like suburbs, but. But this uh, is like calm, bro. Like I like this a lot better than like the f***ing Miami, Miami. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like. You know how to lace these. Yeah, I got you. I'll leave some up for you. Right, man, appreciate it. With the red ones. I was going to say, which ones do you want? The white or the, the red? I think I'll do red, bro. I like how the red stands out. Yeah, the red because it's on the, the tag already. So. I've been wearing for a long time, bro. Yeah, these are crazy. You collect sneakers or you just like here and there? like? I have a room like dedicated to just sneakers. Oh, really? Yeah, but That's I wouldn't fine. say like, yeah, I like I literally transform like a bedroom into like a sneaker closet. That's sick as f But I wouldn't say like I collect sneakers, like I'm on top of like each drop. Right, right, like yeah, yeah. But um, I have a lot though. So people don't, don't like normally put the red laces out. I don't see a lot of people do the red on the olives yeah, bro but I, I like it I like it a lot yeah red's my favorite color bro so. yeah red's fire especially on these this will pop yeah, for sure all right bro what you think red laces I think that's it yeah I think this is it bro that's hard as so, way. So, yeah that's the only one I don't have bro I have every Travis so except hard. that one that look good all right bet all right bro I appreciate you having us anything else you already know cars are taking off we're about to head in the years let's rally I'm excited this is my first time let's get it After a two hour drive, we finally arrived to Okeechobee shooting sports. We'll be shooting some guns, eating some food, and blowing up a car. Dude, I haven't shot a gun in a long time, so I'm ready to fire. I love this. I can't wait for a yacht. I can't wait to shoot some guns. Yeah, we're gonna only have like one or two people shooting at a time, so we can take care of that. Awesome. I'm excited, man. I'm about to shoot some crazy guns. We're at Okeechobee shooting sports center, something like that. Gotta go full auto in this. I'm ready. And Skelly's all busted up. Thank you, bro. You just don't want to coming back and hitting it. No, I feel you. We'll start off on semi automatic just so you can get a feel for it. Sounds good. And then I'm going to play rip on full auto. All right, bet. This is the Off-White Chicago Jordan 1. Brand new, it can fetch upwards of $7,500. We had someone bring these into us, but unfortunately we had to break the news that they were fake. He didn't want anything to do with them, so we decided to put some bullet holes through them. All right guys, so we went shooting, but now we got the finale. This is exciting as I got a crazy pair of shoes right here. Off-White Chicago Jordan 1s. They're fake, someone tried to sell us a pair of fakes, so guess what, we're gonna shoot them up. We're here, we're here to blow up a pair of shoes. Cool. Shoot up a pair of shoes. Is there a story behind the shoes? There's a story behind the shoes. These shoes are fake. Someone, we have a sneaker store and someone tried to sell us a fake pair of shoes. Right. Couldn't get a thighs, obviously. So, right. gotta shoot them up. Yeah. Yeah, so then you put the shoe on top. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Here, you should shoot it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. There you go, man. All right, fire one round of Where am I aiming at? <laughs> <laughs> 
Holy As the best shooter in the group, obviously, I had to do the honors. And I think they look way better like this. I don't know why I expected the shoes to just completely blow up, but the bullets literally went right through the shoes. If you want to see a full video of us blowing these up, let us know in the comments. Look at that. Dude, I was getting so, yeah, you see them like whizzing past right here. Yeah. Yo, bullet, dude, you can't even see the bullet hole. Look. That's so scary. They came out this way? Where did they enter from? I don't know. Look at that. That's wild. Moral of the story, don't sell us f***ing fake shoes. <laughs> yes, sir. The giveaway winner for the Travis Scotts is here. He comes here ever so often, but he won the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low. Shows the reverse mocha, so I'm going to bring him out to him. They're absolutely free. This is wild. One of our biggest giveaways yet. Continue to do this as we grow, of course. Like I said, guys, we're giving a Rolex away at 100k subs, so I think you should subscribe. Yeah. This could be you. Literally, all you have to do is enter our giveaways. It's so simple. There's five simple steps. This guy just won a Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low. We sell these for 1600 in store. I got him right here. You want to try them on? Or you know it's your size. That's crazy. These, uh, these are literally my favorites. Yeah. I love these shoes. I have them myself. Not on today, but. That's awesome. Check them out, put them on, I see how they feel. Yeah. There's a bunch of laces that come with them, so you could switch them out. I like the cream ones, though. You grab the fake pair, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All real giveaways. That's your color, too, man. That looks good. Yeah. yeah. What's the coolest uh, shoe you have right now before these? I have a pair of off whites. Yeah. I don't know what it's called, but it's like has four walking on them. Those... Okay. Is your first Travis Scott's or you have yeah. a pair already? Yeah. Yeah. I wanted them Travis Scott's for a long time, so right. it's actually like perfect. really crazy. Fire. It fits perfect. <laughs> Good. All right, love I think I also have a lot of room because my big toe is here too. So is, your foot's probably still growing, right? Yeah, that's why. Oh, it needs the socks to match the shoes. We made socks literally to match. Yeah, them. I saw your video about that. Perfect. It is all real. We, yeah. do, we do give stuff away. Yeah. Check these out. You can wear them with them or that's whatever sick. with whatever else. Sure. Final thoughts for the YouTube. For all your sneaker needs, come to hype, man. Best story ever. Shout out to Christian and his family. They were super cool, and they ended up picking some other stuff up as well. Made it about two weeks ago. He gave these kids. These shoes here. What are these shoes? Dior Jordan 1 Lows, bro. Dior Jordan 1. Oh, I got Aiden's feet all over my hands. <laughs> but anyway, the kids sold them and we found them at this store. Aiden, come get it back. He needs to blood. come get it back. Come get it back of blood. For real. This shit's hard though. The diamonds? Yeah, those are. Oh, it's, it says it's signed bro, to it's, Some guy gave it to him as a gift. Diamonds. They custom diamond, like diamonds and everything. We just made a piece like that for some for Neil from Timepiece Trading. I can't believe this dude. Yeah, I saw that. He just took them off his feet and then gave it to the Bro, store. the kid came to the store the next day to sell them. Aiden goes, don't sell them, bro. He comes and sells them. Wild. What a rat. Wild. So, uh, thanks guys. Yeah. And that's what happens. I was in a uh, Raz gym in LA, and some kids were like, yo, I want, a, I want a gym membership here. I want a gym membership here. So, I bought him your, um, your gym membership. Kid didn't even follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I checked his Instagram. I saw he, that clip. He, he didn't, didn't, have, he didn't he, follow you? He didn't even follow me. Because you said you were like, check in, like, like, make sure he goes and shit. He didn't even DM you or anything. Like, these shoes you could have saved in African Village for like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is our new merch. Hooked it up. But if you ever need anything, bro, take my number. I'm the owner here. So, we do videos shit all the time if you want to come stream whatever we want to do a live stream what do you think about like a all day like when the busiest day like live stream in the store what do you think? yeah you'd have to do it on the busy days like um, saturday like yeah. that's our busiest day yeah like hook it up in the corner or and you can even i would do this i would do IRL, yeah. It's really easy to fix. I got you. The magnet falls. Check this out. Uh, there you got to hold it to the back. Yeah. And then you like balance it out. Gangster. Bro. There you go. <laughs> what do you usually wear on the regular, like every day? Uh, Easy-esque sneakers in Japan. Those are comfortable. I like those mesh, but you know, I usually rock like $80 sneakers to sell them most. Air Forces, I feel like. Nah, no? Air Forces, Crease. We got a lot more over here too. This is this is just like the exclusives right here. That's the easiest. Those are foam runners. They're comfy as shit. I mean, they sell. These sell the best, really. You run down to get the paper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love super comfortable sneakers. Yeah, they're comfy. I like the Yeezys. What do you wear? Oh, she got some Louis. I feel like the designer shoes aren't comfy though. They look sick. They're very comfy though. What size are they? You got a small ass foot. <laughs> That's good though. All your sneakers are cheaper though. They're like half the price because they're with such small shoes, she's easy to push over. Uh, How's everything in New York though? How's business? Is this picking up for the is, holidays? Everything's all right. You know what I'm saying? Branding is cool. You know, me, I'm working with your pops. It's, and then also work with you and see, you know? Hell yeah. You guys established an amazing shop. You know what I'm saying? Nested right in here. Traffic is better or worse? 100% better. Yeah, and Brickle. Our location yeah. wasn't meant for retail. Yeah. Whose but. idea was was this right here, man? I had these designers and I was like, yo, we want to make the store look like no one else's store. And they came up with this shit. I thought it was pretty sick and I was like, let's run it. You know what I'm saying? Ever since I was a kid, you know, something that floats in midair was always. <laughs> That's why I put them in the window the too. Trail. When people walk by, they're always like, holy shit, the shoes are floating. You guys are real businessmen. You get the sign outside, you just need marketing and you're a 
crushing it. Yeah, you smashed it with that piece though that you made us. That was great. I love your like little display of the boxes. Yeah. Like, I, that's really a nice touch, honestly. Plenty, plenty of work to do, bro. Yeah. I wish I was your age to do it all correctly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where is that little uh, gold, uh, what do you call it? The pendant? Yeah. Oh wait, let me not let me the show. pendant, the, the little clip on the shoes. Let me show you. This is not the one you made, but we got these. These are Aiden Ross, you know the influencer dude. Yeah. He's uh he he got these made. He got these made. Yeah, right? it says his name on it. We could make them, you know what I'm saying, just a gold tag or even just maybe a silver with the, with a diamond, maybe something affordable. Yeah, yeah. Something cheap and uh, almost on a mass produced scale. People would buy them. Just off the videos we made of like that, people were like, dude, like this is fire, I need one. And this thing right here. So this is Aiden Ross right this here. This is a jump man, yeah. Nah, I mean, but this is some... Um, some good diamonds? It might not be diamonds. Really? You know? Yeah, I Damn. mean... Uh, you would know best. Yeah, for real. I, I should I have, know best. I have no f***ing clue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it looks cool. It looks cool. I can't really tell. But yeah, if sure. you, I guarantee you, you keep these in the shop. People with with a little tag, customize them. Yeah. This is like, I mean, this is a classic. It's our best well, selling shoe. The custom is a headache, you know? Everybody wants something different. The only problem, of course, you got to unlace this shit to put it on. That's true. Damn. You got to be able to do it. All that. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Do you ever get any chrome hearts jewelry or anything like that? Or um, no? uh, yeah, I've dabbled with a lot of chrome hearts. Dude, that's yeah. ridiculous. They, they take a pair like that, like a $100 Air Force, and they put, like, I don't know, a few ounces of silver on it, and they sell it for $5,000. Not even an ounce. Not even one ounce. Yeah, no, the, the chrome it's, hearts is ruthless. It's you know ridiculous. Essentials of fear it. of God. Well, these are pretty cool right here. What size are these? Man? I'm wearing sweatpants forever. If you want to get some exclusive pieces, you come down to Hype Miami, 900 <laughs> South Miami Avenue, and I'm um, uh, definitely worth to take a look around. Does this fit you? What's this? Is that a large or medium? That's yeah, that's perfect. If it's, if it's, hu if it's, it's huge, ah, yeah. it, whatever. <laughs> we utilize all the space. And rent's expensive here, man. So. What's back there, bro? That's the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> it's nothing crazy here. I, I work from home a lot it's of the stock, times. Yeah. So it's really just inventory, and then whatever needs to get done on the computer is over there. The Anti-social club. I mean, you got all the the the, the hip. Sh I ain't seen no New Balances out there. New Balances, there's a ton. That shit's popular. I'll show you. Wow. What's really popular. Like I used to wear a lot stuff. of New Balances. I'm sick of this. Coming back. Like these kind of dad trainers, like the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't f those dads. <laughs> That's those are the worst. Dude, everyone either loves them or hates them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, some people swag out with that, but I've been wearing New Balance for 20 years. I'm done, I'm done with that. I feel it's you. time for me to step it up. You know? Step it up. Well, you got step some Jordans up. up. Yeah, I mean, That's it's something. A, you got something yeah, nice. Yeah, this is a good little look. Something right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you taking the time yeah. while you're here. Welcome to Hype, baby. Oh my God. Thank you, yes. You guys probably seen this kid Neon blowing up on social media and let me tell you, he's the exact same person that he is in his video. It was a super random situation and he pulled up to the store with over 100,000 viewers on Kit. You want size nine and a half? Oh yeah, nine and a half. Oh, sure. All right, let me show you what I got. Okay. Oh wait, you know what you should not bring out right now? What? Those shoes. What shoes? Come on, you know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he has them right here, bro. Check this out, check this out. Open them up, open them up, Neon. Dior Louis. Wait, 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 wait. Look what it says on the, on the. What? What the? You know what these are, right? You know what these are, right? Ah, zoom in on them. How much are they? Bro, 8,000. You know what happened, Neon? I did a mall shoot with Aiden, and then Aiden gave it to a random fan. That random fan sold them immediately. He got the best gift of all time, and then he went to eBay. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. I'll buy the Jordan logo. <laughs> like 15K? Nah, I was trying to sell them for like eight, bro. Someone, yeah, off yeah, someone, yeah. someone offered me 7,000. Should we buy them? Buy that's a crazy level of glazing if you buy them. That's the truth you guys have in stock. I got you. This is nine and a half. Look through. Let me know what you like. Yeezys? Wait, you don't have Yeezys? No, a little scroll, bro. Oh, my bad. <laughs> um, Chad, what do we want? What do we get? What's the drip? Uh, sneak up, you something? Those are fire. SB fours. You like fours? You like Jordans? No, I'm more of a uh, Skechers New Balance. Guy. Skechers New Balance. Oh, there's some fire New Balances on there. Some dunks. Just take me something, bro. You're the sneaker. I'm not really. There's something to get fours. SBs are hot. What do you think? What yeah. do you think, Deanna? What's your taste? I don't care. Uh, my chat runs my life. So. <laughs> Haritos. SB. It's like the soda. You, nice. ever you ever drink Haritos? Uh, did I ever drink what? Haritos, the soda. Haritos, the Mexican little drink, the commie drink. Uh, you get Grinches? Haritos. Grinches. In your size? I saw we have Grinches. What? Do you have a nine and a half? I have a ten in the Grinches. What do we get, chat? What shoes? Get don't get fours. Don't get fours. Can I get bread fours? Fours. Damn, the shoes spin? Yeah, bro. Take them out. It's nice. Futuristic, baby. Hype. <laughs> they got magnets in them. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is the fours. We got black canvas, fire red, lightning, midnight navy, red cement, red thunder, SB, seven different styles. You know what? What's your Let's biggest, chat what's pick. biggest shoe size? My biggest? Yeah. Size 17. Leon, what's your shoe size? Okay, Leon's getting shoes, not me. All right, say less. 14. 14 show them 14s. Let's see. I don't need shoes. 14 for him. Look at this. Big, big ass shoes. Oh, those will look hard on Leon. Big Chat, are these the WRL for Leon? Let me know, bro. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, WRL for Leon. Let me know, bro. What do y'all think? 
I think it's a W shoe. Size 14? Dustin, W. Right. I mean, Leon, can you try a model quick? Yeah, what were you wearing before that? What the hell are those? Comfortable? That's all you care about. Pretty hard. That's crazy. All sales are final. <laughs> scammers. <laughs> you guys have clothes? Bro, we have all the good no, yeah, Check it out, look around. See, what you, see if you like any. You like the hottest or you like some calm yeah. We got Gallery, Chrome, Rude, Warren Lotus. What the hell is that? Hellstar, Supreme, Anti. What brands do you like? What do you wear? What is this? What is this right here? Uh, it's from Ross. Ross? Okay. I mean, it's a budget pickup. You got the shoes? Yeah. That's, that's not bad. Fit a little better than watch, and then you know the shoes. I was gonna say, yeah, so how much the fit, like, cost you think? Um, 20 bucks, 10 bucks, 1.2K, then, uh... 1.2K? And then 65K. Oh. They tax me, that's crazy. <laughs> um, Should I get those shoes or no? Neon, yeah, what do you think of these? 11 That's all we have. Neon, yeah, look. How hard are these? Oh, no. Dude, what the hell? You like these? Oh, 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 I need a hat. I need a designer hat. I get one? You, you. What a nice <laughs> guy, bro. I'm talking about white people. <laughs> what, what, which hat? Which one? Which hat? A mirror? Oh, of course he goes for the most expensive one. How much is that? Of course. <laughs> like 350? Oh, so no, you guys it's, are rich, right? Yeah, yeah. Your phone's ringing so much you have to put it in the bathroom. Who's? This phone. Oh, yeah. A mirror? They're selling like a mirror. There's three more down there, too. Different ones. Big my head, though. Avery really likes that one. How do I look, Chad? How do I look? How do I look, chat? What about this one, chat? What about this one? What about this one? Is this sand? Yeah. <laughs> it's a Zen garden, bro. It's a sand? Yeah, oh, bro. <laughs> You've been here like twice. How do you not know already? I thought it was a beach here. <laughs> Where's the uh, department? Gallery? <laughs> what is, oh, what is this? You have a black one? No, I, was, I just need to tighten it. I just need to tighten it. Let me see the loop. <laughs> it's too big, bro. Hold on. It's too big. Uh, no, it's too big. No, Goofy? Come Damn, on, bro. gotta tighten it down. Yo, he's in the. <laughs> I don't dislike them. Like probably like eight thousand would be the best I could do for him, honestly. I offer someone offer me seven, honestly. Like I really wouldn't. With all the diamonds and everything, they're they're clean. He wants to buy him and give him give him back to Aiden, give him away. How much? Seven. Seven. Let's see you guys, yeah. yeah. yeah does, it, does it have? The, oh yeah, we got that. He claims there's like three thousand dollars worth of diamonds on it, but that yeah. yeah. All right, but. Shout out to Kane. He's actually Neon's manager, and he used to be Aiden Ross's manager, and he bought the Dior's on the spot. Oh, Aiden Ross's Dior is gone. I thought I was gonna give him back to him, but someone is, so that's all that matters. Yeah.